Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome to this presentation. So today we're going to talk about taking flights, and frequent questions or phrases you might hear at the airport. So we're going to look at an airport in the UK, so a quick focus on an airport. Stages at an airport, so check-in, security, boarding and in-flight. And there's some useful phrases too. So phrases useful to hear at the use at the airport and hear that you'll hear at the airport. <clears throat> so first, an example of an airport in the UK. So I've chosen Heathrow Airport. It's the most famous. So it's located 25 kilometers west of central London. It's the biggest airport in the UK and one of the biggest and busiest in the world. It has two runways. These are the run runways where the planes take off. And five terminals. <clears throat> and it's used by around 80 million passengers every year. A lot of people go through Heathrow. Okay, let's look at the stages at the airport. So we can say there's four stages at the airport. Check-in, security, boarding, and in-flight. Or we can also say on board, on board the aeroplane. Okay, so we're gonna look at these stages one by one and do some activities. So stage one, check-in. First thing we do at the airport. So first activity, Here's some common questions that you are asked at the check-in stage. So when you go to the desk to check in, here's some common questions. Some of the words are missing. So I need you to fill the gaps with these words provided. So here's the missing words and there's the, que the common questions, okay? So you've got about eight minutes to do that. So pause the screen. Pause the video and do the activity. Off you go. Okay, I hope you found the activity okay. Let's have a look at the solutions. So, the check-in stage. First one, what is your reservation number? Number two, can I see your passport? and boarding pass, please. So these are the documents you need for check-in. Next one, do you want to check in any baggage into the hold? That's where we put our bigger baggage. Or do you have any dangerous items in your hand luggage? Luggage or baggage, we can use both. They mean the same thing. And the hand luggage is the stuff we carry onto the aeroplane. And is, for example, Bogota, is Bogota your final destination? Okay, I hope you found that activity easy enough. We'll have some more like that. Okay, stage two, security. So at security, the next stage after your check-in. So next activity, activity two, Name five things that you can't take on an aeroplane, that it's prohibited, it's illegal to take on an aeroplane. Five things. Nice and easy, three minutes. Have a think. <clears throat> okay. So, you thought of five things. Let's look at some possible answers. Here's the sign you'll often see prohibited items. So you could have said explosives, like fireworks, bombs, <laughs> weapons, like a knife or a gun or baseball bats. Obviously you can't take these. Toxic liquid, um, or like disinfectant or gas canisters, pressurized items, or flammable items, so things that set on fire. Or sharp objects, scissors, nail, clippers, these sorts of accessories. <clears throat> these you can't take on board. 
So that's security. So some other things you might hear in security are place all liquids in a clear plastic bag. Please empty your pockets. Um, please remove your laptops from your hand luggage. Or please take off your shoes and belt. So you can see, here's the, here's the liquids in a clear plastic bag. Empty your pockets, so take out your money or your cards, wallet. Remove your laptop and take off your shoes and your belt if you're wearing a belt. Okay, stage three, boarding. So this is when we're going on the aeroplane. Again, we're going to look at some common phrases from the boarding stage. Some words are missing, again. So it's the same activity. I want you to fill the missing gaps with the words provided, just like before. Okay, so these are common things you might hear at the boarding stage. A little shorter, five minutes, off you go. Pause the video, do the activity. Okay, let's look at those answers to this boarding one. So, could passengers taking flight AV130 to London please proceed to gate, to gate 27? So proceed means go, it's like a more formal way of saying go, and you'll often hear this at the airport. So proceed means go to gate 27. Here in the photo you can see gate 12. <clears throat> So we call the, each the number place where we go on the aeroplane. This is the gate. Could all passengers please have their passport and boarding pass ready to be checked by our flight attendant? Here you can see a flight attendant here. These are the people who check your documents. And could passengers flying in business class please proceed to boarding? Of course, you have different classes in, in a, on an aeroplane, business class, economy class. Okay, and final stage, in flight or on board, we can say both. This is when you're on board the plane, ready to take off, or you've already take off, taken off. So you've got your in-flight entertainment, you've got your food, refreshments, tea, coffee, wine okay so in flight again same activity it's common phrases questions orders fill in the gaps here they are again again this is a bit longer a few more words to put in it's quite a difficult one so eight minutes again you have a bit longer for this activity and of course, uh, to do with safety or procedures on the aeroplane. Okay, so eight minutes, pause the video, and off you go. Okay, so let's take a look at the solutions to that activity. On board the flight, in flight. So please pay attention while our staff carry out the safety demonstration just before you take off. Please remain seated during takeoff and landing. Takeoff is when the plane leaves the airport and starts flying and landing when it arrives at the destination. There is a life jacket located under your seat. This is a phrase you'll hear during the safety demonstration. The seatbelt sign has been switched on. So switched on, activated. You must remain seated. This might happen in the flight if there's turbulence or something. Would you like any refreshments? So this could be drinks or food. And the scheduled arrival time at our destination 
is 8.45. Scheduled arrival time is the time it's supposed to arrive. Maybe there's, there might be a delay, but if everything goes to plan, 8.45. Okay, well, enjoy your flight, guys. Well done for working on those activities and have a great day. Thank you.